Hi guys, it's me, Delicious Delights. Welcome to my channel. Today I'll be talking about the top 10 best smelling flowers. And I have chosen 10 flowers, the smells of flowers, both in real life and in perfumes, in order from my least favorite to my most favorite. So obviously I have chosen also perfumes that represent that floral smell very well. And then I'll probably just talk about each flower, <laughs> um, what I think of it in perfumes, and I'll just do a lot of chit-chatty things. So first of all, let's begin in number 10 spot. We have the flower of rose. So rose is a very popular note in perfumes. There's so many varieties of it, though. There's like damask rose that I've heard. There's Bulgarian rose, there's English rose, and there's just so many breeds of all the roses, and there's like garden roses, and whenever I've put my nose into a bouquet of roses, there is just a very faint smell. They almost smell like nothing. <laughs> but when when the oil is uh, extracted from the flower, we get, we get this very distinct floral scent. Um, it is kind of confusing because of all the varieties of it and and then you get like some fake smelling roses and kind of like you get this potpourri thing <laughs> but anyways the uh the rose perfume that i've chosen for my collection to showcase is oud bouquet so you can see here that there's a pattern mosaic pattern of rose here a beautiful bottle oud bouquet is gorgeous it's a sweet thick honey like jammy rose oud vanilla scent very very sweet and uh very popular in the community but i think this is fantastic you guys when you're in the mood to smell like a sweet jammy vanilla rose this is perfect it is very memorable too and i think that if you wear this you'll probably get some attention because it is so so monstrous when you wear it okay in number nine spot we have the flower of violet so violet flowers in real life again they have very little smell to it it's a very delicate soft powdery scent and also it comes off as sweet and green and fresh and i have here guerlain insolence eau de toilette that it's blurry this is probably the best violet perfume I've ever tried. I absolutely love this, you guys. I love wearing this when it's like around springtime because it just smells so, so yummy. Wow. So this one kind of reminds me of like violet candies, if you know what I mean. <laughs> it's very fresh to me. It's very elegant and feminine. And I think, I do think men can wear this as well. But uh, I don't know, just for me, I just feel really feminine when I wear it. And it's like really fresh and airy and deliciously floral. <laughs> okay, that was number nine. In number eight spot, we have the flower of iris. Let me put this here. So iris, also in real life, iris has a very faint scent. But in perfumes, iris smells very soft and powdery and buttery and it kind of also sometimes has this makeup smell to it here for iris i have chanel number no. 19 poudre eau de parfum you can hardly see the oh there we go if i go like that you can hardly see the the uh writing here but anyways oh my gosh you guys this is absolutely beautiful uh, again this is a perfume that i like to wear a lot uh, during spring or summer it's just a very oh my gosh very refined soft elegant green like green stems iris scent powdery uh, floral oh my gosh it is so so gorgeous so Another weird thing about this is whenever I've worn this, I also like to match my shirt or something in my outfit also green. So <laughs> I'm not really sure why I do that. I'd like to know if you guys do that sometimes, if you like um, try to match the color of the perfume to your outfit somehow or in your makeup. I don't know. I just want to know if I'm the only one or not. <laughs> okay, 
that was number eight, Iris. Now in number seven, we have the beautiful flower of ylang ylang, or as my mom says, says it, ylang ylang. So I'm not really sure uh, of the correct pronunciation of, of ylang ylang. <laughs> I'll just say it in the English way, I guess, ylang ylang. So ylang ylang, I, I have tested actual ylang ylang in, um, in many oil forms, and to me, it's very strange. It has like this damp, rubbery kind of smell to it. It also has like a touch of like rubbery oud in there some, <laughs> for some reason. It's very pungent, but also at the same time, there's a touch of sweetness. It's also quite warm and full and spicy, and it is beautiful, especially in this perfume here, which I have um, loved for a long, long time. This is from the house of a Mikulef, and this is Ylang. You can see there. There's also a Ylang in gold version where they have like gold sparkles. Um, I didn't go for that one. I wanted to go for this one because I think there's, there's enough bling bling on this bottle. <laughs> uh, but anyways, this is a gorgeous... Wow, okay. A very sweet vanilla perfume with ylang ylang. It's very tropical. And then when I wear this, I kind of picture myself um, in Hawaii. And I am on this tropical island sipping some coconut juice or coconut milk. It is just absolutely gorgeous. It is just so yummy and I just cannot... Uh, get enough of this. This is fantastic, you guys. So that's Mikulef Ylang, showcasing the flower of Ylang Ylang. Now in number six spot, we have the flower of Lily of the Valley. So Lily of the Valley has this very green scent to it, a green, fresh sweetness to it. I also smell in Lily of the Valley a citrusy type of tang in it and um, it's clean and it kind of reminds me of a tropical kind of scent. So here to showcase the beautiful flower of Lily of the Valley we have another Guerlain scent here called Edel. So this is my pretty much my go-to spring scent. I absolutely love wearing this in the spring, especially when the weather is starting to get nicer and the grass is starting to grow and there's also leaves on the trees start starting to grow as well. This reminds me of... Oh, <laughs> this reminds me of... When I wear this, I kind of think of myself wearing a spring dress or a summer dress and I'm like running through the field somewhere and there's like white flowers everywhere like daisies and um, lily of the valley <laughs> and just a whole bunch of mix of um, different beautiful white flowers around me and it is just so so gorgeous so elegant and my goodness these bottles are so nice you guys <laughs> I love them so much so this would be my favorite lily of the valley scent for sure all right, so now we are at the top five. The fifth best smelling flower, in my opinion, is tuberose. Here, I'll just be careful that this doesn't fall. Maybe I'll just do it like this for now. So tuberose, I struggled with this note for a very long time <laughs> because there's just sometimes, sometimes tuberose can be difficult. Actually, a lot of times it can be. Uh, sometimes tuberose smells like dirty white flowers. It's very heady and loud. It can be, at least in some perfumes, explosive. Um, tuberose also kind, kind of smells similar to me to gardenia and jasmine, or maybe a combination of those two. But um, in other perfumes, it's like sweet and green, and it's beautiful. Anyways, I have the gorgeous... Uh, discontinued fragrance here to represent tuberose today and this is Madonna Truth or Dare so you have to be careful putting it down because it's so thin that if you put it up like that there's a good chance that it might fall over so this is a beautiful sweet tuberose scent <laughs> wow very very sweet people say that it's a little sister to 
um, Robert Piquet Fracas. And um, yeah, you guys, I love this so much. It's kind of like a bubblegummy, sweet, syrupy, tubro scent. Probably vanilla. I don't really know the notes in here. But it is a very, very sweet tubros. And I, I really like when tubros is added with a lot of sweetness for me because I really like sweet perfumes. So that is the fifth best smelling flower. Let me just put it like this. I don't know how to do this. I'll put it down here. Okay. <laughs> so we are at number four, the fourth best smelling flower, in my opinion, is Osmanthus. So here is the perfume. Osmanthus is absolutely gorgeous. I <laughs> I love the scent so much. So the Osmanthus flower smells kind of like a fruity peachy scent. It's very soft. There's also an Osmanthus tea that I, I drink sometimes and it then it tastes like a fresh, sweet, clean kind of tea. And um, it's crisp and watery as well. And the perfume that I've chosen to showcase Osmanthus is a fragrance called Osmanthus by the House of Ormond Jane. And um, it's a heavy, heavy, heavy bottle, you guys. So this has been a favorite of mine for quite some years. This is Osmanthus mixed with pomelo slash grapefruit. So I think people might say that this is more so of a citrus scent. But oh my gosh, this is absolutely stunning, you guys. I do really recommend this one for you to test out if you're looking for a fantastic, fresh, bright, citrusy floral scent that lasts and lasts and lasts. And this is so, so, so beautiful. I'm not trying to hype this or anything, but <laughs> I don't know why this is not more popular than it is. But oh my gosh, you guys, if you're in the mood for a new spring scent to test out maybe you should try this because it is absolutely beautiful okay so now we are finally at the top three the top three best smelling flowers in number third spot we have orange blossom so for orange blossom i chose two perfumes I'm running out of space here because i didn't know which one to choose <laughs> so orange blossom smells like uh, kind of orangey, but there's like green notes in there. It's, it, if you can imagine an orange and then attached to it, it are the stems and the branches and the leaves all together. It is very fresh and sweet, almost candy-like sometimes in some perfumes. A little bit honey-like as well, a little bit neroli-like. Those two are related. But I've chosen two um, orange blossom scents here. The first one here is Bottega Veneta Knot, and I've talked a little bit about this on my channel. Let me just get a quick whiff. Yes, oh, so this is a very, very clean, simple orange blossom scent. It reminds me of freshly washed laundry or bed sheets, um, and then say if the uh, detergent was like an orange blossom scent. <laughs> Uh, that's what this one kind of smells like to me, and I absolutely love wearing this in the summertime. It is beautiful. Very, very, very clean and crisp and amazing. And then we have another orange blossom scent here. I just have a little travel size here uh, uh, by Killian. I don't know why it's not focusing. So you can see the very intricate design of this travel spray. Yeah, ooh, so good. <laughs> so this is Love Don't Be Shy, and I'm pretty sure a lot of you guys have tried this before. It is also a fragrance that Rihanna likes to wear. You guys probably already know that, but this is kind of a very sweet, syrupy orange blossom scent with a lot of vanilla. I think there's marshmallows in here as well. It is so, so delicious. It is strong. It is memorable, and... Um, <laughs> one of, probably one of the best orange blossom scents out there. There's so many good ones, but I think one of the best ones for sure is Love Don't Be Shy. So if you haven't tried Love Don't Be Shy, you should because it is that yummy, delicious, especially for you um, gourmand lovers out there. 
Okay guys, so now we are at the second best smelling flower and that is freesia. So let me just put, I'm going to move these over, sorry. <laughs> okay, so with freesia, freesia, I, it is, it was the, my mother-in-law's favorite flower scents and sometimes she would have freesia on her kitchen table and I would always smell it and it is so so beautiful the scent of freesia um, it smells kind of like a creamy lemon I don't even think that there's freesia in this perfume but um, it's definitely smells like <laughs> freesia like very like the real flower um, so freesia all is also fresh and heavenly and gorgeous and for the perfume that I've chosen that I think smells a lot like freesia, even though there's probably not any freesia notes in here, is Dolce & Gabbana Italian Zest, which is basically a creamy lemon version of the original light blue. So if you are looking for a citrusy, creamy version of the original, this is basically what you should go for. Oh my gosh, that is gorgeous. I think it's discontinued. I know they do a lot of flankers with this line. So it might be a little bit more hard to find. But uh, if you do get a chance to test out this version in specific, uh, in particular, then you should. It's so delicious. It's just a, a gourmandy version of light blue, focusing on a creamy lemon and vanilla. Okay, so now finally we are at number one. The number one floral scent, the number one best smelling flower, in my opinion, is jasmine. So here is a perfume with jasmine in it. So jasmine is like a very beautiful, obviously it's a beautiful scent. <laughs> it's considered a aphrodisiac in some places. It has like this pure warm sensual kind of scent to it it's rich it's sweet this is dior pure poison so let me get a swift oh gosh this is so beautiful and when i smell this or when i wear it i honestly think of like a, a woman on her wedding day and she is dressed up in her wedding dress she has her hair done everything's perfect it's the best day of her life and she's looking absolutely beautiful and honestly if uh, i were to renew my vows someday i think i would wear pure poison because to me <laughs> i love the smell of it it is beautiful but um it just for me when i smell this it gives me that imagery of of you know being married and stuff <laughs> or someone that's getting married or i think it would just be the perfect wedding scent i think even though the name might put some people off uh, the scent itself is absolutely gorgeous there's other um, floral notes in here but this is focusing on jasmine and it is so wonderful all right guys so that was my video a very very long video on my top 10 best smelling flowers and perfumes that represent those flowers i want to thank you guys so much for watching if you guys want to share your thoughts on any of these perfumes i would love to hear it maybe in the comments you can let me know what are your top three best smelling flowers ever and the perfumes that focus on it <laughs> thank you guys so much for watching i'll see you guys next time Bye bye